Hi and welcome to our presentation. We're going to tell you a little about Red Item, which is our new edition, the Red Component edition. <laughs> so basically, who are we? My name is Michael and this is Gary. We're both front-enders at the Red Component team, the Red Web in Denmark. And uh, what is Red Item? It's one of the, the newest additions we made, which is basically a focused CCK component, which is used for listing items of any sort. So, what possibilities is there for Red Item? Well, you, like I said, you can use it for anything cars, cats, anything. And um, basically, it's a very simple component, so we won't, uh, you won't overwhelm the customer with all sorts of features which they basically don't need. And why use this instead of like K2 or Zoom? Like I said, a lot of people, they can do a lot of things K2 and Zoom. You can set up the content on your website all over, but with this component, we we focus on only listing up uh, items. A really simple component. Category. Yeah, a category to the type, and then you create the categories. And which, when you have done that, you go in and create those items which you attach to the categories. Yeah, and then back to the template where you're, the items you have created, you add them in the template so they will be shown. Also, we have an XML export, which uh, at this moment we only have export, which can be used to export all your items until other sites if you, uh, you need it. And later on, we will have an import as well, so you can take all sorts of items from other systems and list inside the, the red item and yeah. use them. Let's say a car that has 50 cars, uh, new cars every month, and uh, we want to show them on our side, then we just import them uh, based from that side, and so on and so forth, and then we show them on the other side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have tried to set this up at the demo side. Yeah. <coughs> I've been building on this uh, demo site for, for today uh, and for Red Item. Uh, Red Item is still in a Jap condition. It is uh, built, uh, and th there's new additions to it, mainly uh, built uh, for today to show you. So, uh, But the demo site looks like this. Uh, you have a beautiful Lamborghini design, of course. Uh, and down here, you have a module it's listing uh, the newest cars you have made, those new items. So, uh, Every new item you are making uh, should be listed out here uh, to get the focus uh, on the item. Uh, you know, in cars, uh, <coughs> you have a simple list um, of cars shown. On the top you have a search module. Uh, right now it searches for, uh, for the name. Uh, you can also create other fields as uh, so it searches in, it searches in the, the date of the car. Uh, the type or the color, the fuel type or anything you want to search. All the fields that you are creating, you can actually connect uh, so you can search through them. Um, Basically, this is a standard view which just a standard view in red item which has been styled. Yeah, just a little style, not that much, but it's standard views. Um, you can sort them by, uh, by name, year, color, whatever field that you have created, you, uh, you, you can sort them through, uh, through that also. So, if I uh, 
structure. On the top, we have uh, of course the main image of, uh, of the car, uh, of the item. And uh, right below that, you have uh, three more images uh, that have been uploaded to, uh, to the item as well. Thanks. Uh, and that was just uh, it's, the, it's the same uh, image right now, but when you hover it, it will show in a big uh, area. Uh, but it's the same image, so we can't see the, the switcher. Uh, at the right side, you have it, it's custom fields. Uh, it, it's all fields that are, have been created in Red Item. So uh, to the right, you have Eagle Info. That's just a uh, 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 editor uh, type of field. Below that, you have Car Info. That is uh, six more fields uh, that are connected to the item. I will show you uh, a bit how. You have the name, move to the left, and below that the price. That's uh, two separate uh, fields as well. And then the description field here. And of course, you have the Facebook like button, and you're going to add Twitter, share, and LinkedIn, and so on. There's text for that as well. To the right, uh, we have two new additions uh, to the fields. We have address. When you type in your address, uh, the dealer type in uh, the address. Uh, it will show in Google Map. And uh, below, uh, you can uh, type in your um, YouTube video uh, from a custom field as well. Uh, you can both type ID or the role link. It doesn't matter, it will show you. Uh, so basically, that's just then um, an item. In, when you create an item, you just select which type and you just choose if it's uh, Google Map or <coughs> text area or whatever. And the same with the, the YouTube. Yeah. This is a detail view, standard detail view uh, of an item. Uh, the other uh, view was in all items, and in front was a module showing items. In the back end, uh, as Michael uh, said, we start by making a, te a template. You can just create an empty template. This is just uh, for, uh, for the types and categories to start with, so they can connect with each other, and uh, you can, uh, yeah, I can show you. I created a card template. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have uh, listed a lot of fields down there. Uh, those fields I will come back to. But up here, I will input the fields that I need for that detail view uh, of, of a car. I can create another template if I want to show both <coughs> cat or anything like that. When I've created my, uh, my template, I go back to types, create the type. Cars. In here, I, uh, I choose what template I want to connect with that type. So I just add a, a card template here, you can, uh, you can both add or remove it. And give it a name, the type. Then you actually go to categories and create a new uh, category. You have uh, the option to uh, give it a name, of course, um, and create all the subcategories you want. It's uh, unlimited here, of course. Over here, you choose the type of template that is connected to the category, and the category is then connected to the type, which is connected again to the template. Um, and then you also have the function to update subcategories. So if you uh, if you have uh, 50 subcategories and suddenly you decide to uh, to make a new template, instead of sitting and, and typing it in it to in every one of it, then we just update uh, them all. Um, yes. Start again. Then you go to fields and uh, create all your fields you, you need for uh, for that item. And here I, I have a lot of fields that are also sold out as detail here, the description, the year, the uh, color, fuel type, and so on. When you create a new field, you just type in the name. Uh, I have actually made one, but yeah, length. And give it a, a field code. That's the tag of the, um, the of, of the <coughs> field that you're going to use in the template. Okay. And you can choose uh, different types of fields. Uh, there's a text, just another text box. There's text area, a little big, bigger text box. And then there's the editor, it's just a specific editor. And it's the one you have chosen, so if you use a J, a J, C editor, then it's, it, it will be shown. 
You can also uh, select box date. Uh, I have used that for the day of the half course. Uh, YouTube, we you saw the YouTube video on the detail view. And Google Maps, that's an address. So you name the type, uh, the, the field address, and then it'll show like that. And then you have two options, uh, list in, in columns and rows. If you say, uh, it's, it's actually uh, the all items view right here. So you can see the, uh, the, the year of the, the car, you can see here. And that is because I have set the year to be shown in columns. If I set yes to rows as well, it would be shown uh, below the image. So we have two, type, uh, two types uh, of show right there. When you create a new item, you can see there's not a lot of options, even if I have all those fields created. But that's because you only see the fields that are connected with that template or that category you need for that car. So now it's cars. I only want to see fields from cars. I don't want to see fields from both. So I go down and chose cars for example. And it could have been smart, but as I said, this is in a Java edition. But when I choose the category, it should automatically just load the new fields instead of going up here and pressing save. But I have saved now, and now you can see all the custom fields from cars are now loaded. So I can type in the data now. And you only got the, the fields you need. So if I create a new field, it will also show in here because I've chosen the camera. And you can try to save one of the little data now. You see the name, the the description, that's the music that I was talking about. And the, the name is just an ordinary text uh, field. You can see the data, the data figure. And just ordinary text fields as well. Another editor. You can upload one image, and then uh, manually upload uh, a couple more. Uh, this could have been a multi upload. But in, in, in here you can see the list of those files you have uploaded to the, the images you have uploaded to that item. So you can uh, choose uh, a new uh, main image if you want that from the list you have now. And you can see down here uh, the category choosing files. That was a, a, a pro group of uh, the demo side and a uh, showcase uh, for, for this side. I also have some other uh, things I want to talk about. Uh, modules, uh, you have seen the, the search module and keyword support. Uh, in uh, my, me and my, my brother Ronnie has a little side project called the Laptop World where we are writing articles about uh, laptops and gadgets and stuff. And that side we have um, a module and the MRED item install, of course. Uh, the module uh, is uh, set below every article, um, and then the module checks the article after for keywords. If you find a keyword matching to the item at the dealer, it will then list the dealer below the article. So if the dealer wants to, be, uh, to have more focus in that article, uh, let's say they are selling an ASUS computer, and we are writing an article about an ASUS computer, and we want to show that dealer in that side we can actually show it with module. Uh, as you can see here the keywords to the to the left has been connected to uh, to Shark Game uh, DK over here. Uh, the 3770K the processor has been connected to the Shark Game. And the next page you can see that's the article. Uh, all the, the words uh, 3770K uh, are highlighted right now. The next picture here, you can see uh, it's on names right now, but uh, it says uh, dealers are selling this product. So you can see Sharking is uh, shown here below of the article because they have bought the keyword uh, 7370K. Uh, also, there is. Uh, then we have this site. Uh, oh, one of our clients, the Powerful Group, is one of the biggest rentals, uh, they rent uh, apartments in Denmark. 
and they have used Red Island to show all their apartments. Click here. We can see the overview of all their apartments, simple list like uh, we showed on the demo side, with uh, some of the tabs here. And if you go into the detail view, it's, it's looking a lot like the, the demo side as well, with the big image and the thumbnails, where they reduced all the, the custom fields to the side. Another one is called FC Fun which is a football club with big ambitions in Denmark. And they, uh, they have used a module to list up all their players, which they have put into different categories. And if you go into one of the players right here, you see the detailed view. system like eBay could be. Um, the main thing that would need it to go there is uh, front-end editing and users to have the option to, to create a, a new user of course and then create the items themselves from and from front-end so they don't want, uh, have to go to back in real time. Um, so that, that's uh, some of the, the views that could be. Uh, but the main priority is... It's not like that yet? There's no front-end editing yet? Not right now, no. It's, uh, you have to go to the back end to do uh, all this uh, because it's, uh, been built into that right now. Yeah. But, uh, Mainly we're going to focus on shopping the edges, completing some of the stuff you mentioned like HTML report and yeah. basically making it a, a lot nicer with the, the nice details. Yeah. Make a full version instead of the job version. <laughs> yeah. Just try and show the quote magazine side. Have you got internet? Yes. All the quotes I actually done the rest of Red Eyes and Two. Sublot or, or other CCKs, why is Red Item better? Uh, why do you think it's better? Uh, what's the unique feature? The, the main focus uh, is that we made it so simple that the, the user won't have all these you know, features mm -hmm. they have to select. Uh, this is only for making items as of now, like instead of using block layout in Joomla, this is a very easy way of listing it. Of course, there are other, other components doing something similar to it. And if, if I might add, uh, then um, all of our CCK systems all have a feature focus. We don't want to do a global CCK for content. The user will more or less replace that to some extent when it comes in. Uh, our web shop is CCK for web shops. Uh, red item is for doing something like this with items and types and tags to mix things up, but an XML integration and stuff like that. But all of our components, more or less, have a feature of functionality focus. We want to achieve something like if, if you've got a, an app on your iPhone, uh, you want the app to give some feature added to it. If you just want the news from the website, you go to the website. So in this case, we, we, we have a focus. So each of our CCKs would focus on some uh, primary uh, features that some of our clients or people would like to do, 
and that's where we would try to add the value based group. So we like to think that a more simplified version of the CCK than, than one that tries to, to do it all. So there's more focus on that. Yeah, basically we broke it up and different. We have another component called the red content, which is more based on the, the normal content of the site. And um, if you go to uh, the presentation on Sunday with the calling, they will show uh, how to use it. Do you need extra starting for for the content? Yeah, for, for the one I did. No, extra season starting. Yeah, for the one I did, the, the demo side, so yeah. yes, there's a, there's a lot of starting in detail, you, uh, but it's not that uh, that hard again. Uh, I can show you the... But you need a special starting for the component. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you do need that. Uh, I can show you the, the build-up of, uh, of the template I made. Um, The, the thing is, you could say that in general, with a lot of our CCK stuff, is that if you need to know HTML and CSS, but if you do that, you can build anything. So you don't need to know a single line of PHP or any advanced coding or anything at all. You just need to know HTML and CSS. But if you're doing templates, adjustments to templates, and template overrides, all of the tags you see there are also support directly in template overrides. And, and so are they in Red Shop and other of our components. Of course, you don't have to start from scratch. There are standard and template. Yeah, it's just yeah, basic, yeah, so you can go from there. It's not just as pretty as the one. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just like that. <laughs> I think for any CCK, for, for my usage, I, would, I always, the ability to have, have extra fields it comes in play with having searchability for those extra fields. So how, how are you planning to, you, you look like you've got a fairly pleasant way of creating fields for in terms of the user experience, but it's fairly simple. How is the user going to make, um, or the admin going to make a search, searchable facility for those fields? Yes, so, so whether there's more fields or search, or just a single search field for all the fields, or? Yeah, custom searches. So you can, within the fields, you can say, make this field searchable because you've got a tick box, but. Yeah, yeah. As of now, the, the, the text or the fields you have added to the view, those are the one that dies which you can, you can filter. But the search module, inside the module, you can add which fields you should be able to search for. Yeah. And you're sure. When you create a field, you have the option. Uh, like, can you search like all, all red cars from 2009 in that price range? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 no, the right now, not right now, but that would, uh, could be one of the, the, the options or the features. For yeah, you can like select like more filters yet. Yeah, but filters would use it. Yeah. So you would then have approximately three or four or however you configure drop down boxes on which you can select. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if, if you show the bar for the side again, you could show that's actual field that yeah. pull out into the search box. Right? You can see down there you have uh, the option if this is a search field. If it says to, to yes, then it's searchable. If no, then it won't search it. But it doesn't add an actual field or a uh, filter. Well, no, so but, but you could, we could do that. You could, uh, or it would be more like a. Uh, I think it, uh, it would be more like another field right now. But uh, but the feature uh, could be something like that. Yeah, could be done. On Apple. On Apple. How will this show up in Google search? Is this uh, like a common job assignment or is it included in the components so it's harder for Google to find it? Oh, I must think it would be hard for Google to find it. I'm not a serious specialist, but uh, I will find it. I can answer that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I'll just run up because I've done quite a bit of work on that. Uh, uh, there's a limit of two presenters <laughs> per session. <laughs> <laughs> just try to uh, take it out of full screen. Uh, we could just uh, do an example. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you see the right here, what we have is, as with many other components, we've got support for the, J, the native SEO and SEF URLs, etc. But we've also got support for SH44 SEF. So if you use SFH44 SEF, we will control all of the meta elements and zero elements from the component. So you see that the search engine friendly address is there too, of course. And now if you, um, you go up here, it says, uh, 
uh, apartment, one room, uh, the road, the town, and, and news. And that's the title, basically. So the title is, of course, part of the page title in general. So the heading is also out there. Now, um, I can't remember if... Let me just do a simple check here. But you need to improve your uh, stuff Well, in, in general, I would always recommend that you install SX447, another tool, because the, the native Joomla way of doing it is not perfect. So there's some holes in it, and uh, but also it's a matter of uh, if you work with search engine optimizations, you want access to the tools to control your content. You as a user need to have the proper access to do search engine optimization, and you don't have the complete tools for that. So a third-party extension like SX447 would give you the tools, so it's easy to access and you can control it, and and that's important. So I think that's needed. Um, in this case, you can see. Um, we're still we're, we're running with um, regular keywords and description here. We're using it differently a few places where we have tweaked some elements. Um, but in a future version, like in Red Content and Red Shop, we've gone to a product and Red Shop, we've got a tab called SEO. We're going to Canva and Red Shop, we've got a tab called SEO. We're going to Manufacturers, we've got a tab called SEO. So you've got direct access to it. The same with Red Content. If you go into a content element, you've got a tab called SEO, and you can add your SEO from that view directly. That will also happen with Red Item too. So we're, we're, and we do that with SH447. So instead of going into SH447 and controlling it, you can do it directly from the content part you're working on. So um, you can say that that one of the things we're looking uh, ahead at is um, is getting some of this. Uh, uh, Joomla 3.0, uh, Joomla user experience love in terms of some of our back-end views uh, that would unify things a bit there, so... Uh, but yeah, but, but it's a constant process and, and like with the XML export, we, some people uh, mail us and say, well, we really want to do this and this and send data out or get data and something, and if it's good ideas, we'll do it. So that's how <coughs> the best products of all is listening to the users, basically. So I'll just go and hide in the corner again and <laughs> wrap up. Well, if, yeah, uh, for the images, uh, is it using the same uh, structure as what RedShop uses for images? So you can add a little bit of images. Yes, some yeah. else get created, resized. It's a spin-off of it's the spin -off same. Yeah. So with the example, the, uh, the item that you open the media, it'll only show the images adjusted to it. Like in the last session here, yeah, we're here just, just talking a bit about that, it only shows the images. Yeah. Fix the content and stuff like that. But in general, I think a lot of our components in Joomla in general could use a lot of love in terms of media handling and, and options. We did a, a custom webshop for a client where people should upload their photos from the cameras to get them printed. And we, we put in a lot of uh, uh, image uh, editing tools like uh, cropping, resize, and contrasts, and all sorts of stuff like that in custom media editor from the front end view from clients and red shop. And I think those sorts of elements and automatic resizing and stuff like that is, is on the way into the room of all and should be there. It's also silly much that all of us figure out our own uh, media manager of extension where it should be visible uh, applicable to all components. So uh, yeah. Do you want to have any questions? If you suddenly think of one, just uh, don't be afraid to come and ask. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, thank you. Well.